There are times when one walks a chosen path and there are times when destiny chooses you to walk a chosen path. Your attitude decides your future. My life has been full of challenges and a choices. I always chose fight or flight and results or excuses. Welcome friend, my name is Sudhir Vagmare and I am from Pune. I come from a typical middle class family and my parents had their own dream about me, giving me higher education, so looking for a good job in government or either in a bank, marriage and a family for me. But little did they know that I was dreaming about being an entrepreneur, that too in super speciality field of manufacturing newborn life saving devices in India. My life has been always full of challenges and choices. I never went for an easy thing. I always felt that. Jitna bada sangharsh, utna bada yash. I always believed in that. I started my manufacturing activity and my distribution channel is Pan India. In November 2017, I got a phone call from a senior doctor friend from America asking me whether I can manufacture a portable human milk pasteurizer. He had tried to get it developed in California, USA, but the cost of development told to him was around 1,50,000 US dollars. That's approximately what, uh, 1.20 crores Indian rupees. And the development period was two hours, two uh, years. My doctor friend said, okay, thank you very much, bye-bye. And he, he directly called me on the phone and said, Sudhir, can you develop me a portable human milk pasture for me? Oh, I said, why not? I immediately said yes, because it was a new opportunity for me to develop. Being an entrepreneur, I always like to develop new things. So I immediately said yes and started researching and studying about the milk pasteurization process and the smaller nuances of it. Believe you me, within three months, I came out with two prototypes of human milk pasteurizer and displayed it to the doctors from USA and India. Everybody appreciated that, but I was not satisfied with it. So I started developing a third human milk pasteurizer, which was better in aesthetics, which was eco-friendly and it was user-friendly. So I developed the third prototype in the month of May and gave it to two hospitals in India, in India for clinical trials. Both these hospitals were very satisfied with the results of the product named Kimi, which we named uh, Kimi. There's a short story behind this. This, there was a baby girl born in California and her, her mother immediately died after giving birth to her. The name of the baby was Kimi. That triggered the idea of developing a portable human milk pasteurizer. So we named our product the human milk pasture as Kimi. So during one such promotion out of Pune, that a news came to me on a phone. That news was absolutely shocking. It was weird. I was not able to believe it. The news was, I was suffering from esophagus cancer. There was a large tumor found in my food pile. And I was not even able to sip water, forget eating food. The same day evening, there was a dinner organized for the delegates and everybody was enjoying the evening and I was not even able to swallow water. Whenever I used to take a sip of water, I had to run to the washroom and vomit. Everybody was wondering what was happening to me. Nobody was knowing except me. So when I came to know that I'm suffering from cancer, I took the decision in my own stride. I said, okay, if I have cancer, I have to face it. I cannot run away from it. So I went to the doctor and said, okay, you do your treatment. You start your work. I will do my work. So I started with a treatment known as chemotherapy. It's a very dangerous uh, therapy and it has multiple side effects. And one of the side effects, major side effect is the hair loss. Waking up in the morning and seeing your hair scattered over your bed is a very dread, dreadful sign. It's a very unhappy sign. So what to do about it? I tackled that problem in, a, in my own way. I straightway went to the bar, to the saloon and had a haircut. 
So I solved my problem. So now I'm not feeling bad that I have hair loss. Totally, and I got uh, admitted to the hospital and started my chemotherapy. During chemotherapy, the cancer treatment medicines are given or put on a saline stand and, and given to you intravenously. So when I asked to you need the there was a need to go for me to a bathroom. I used to carry that saline stand, which was hanged with the treatment bottle, and I used to go to the washroom because I didn't want any nursing staff or the doctors to give me back pain. I didn't want sympathy from anybody. For this, the doctors warned me several times, but I took it in my stride because I didn't want sympathy. In total, I had three chemotherapies of 72 hours. Eight chemotherapy of one day, followed by 33 radiation therapies, and followed by a dilatation procedure in which a rod is introduced in your esophagus to make your food pipe bigger. In between this, I was able to ship one of my products, that's the Kimi, to USA. When I was getting the daycare treatment for my cancer in the hospital, I used to go with my better half in the hospital. I used to rush to the admission counter, get myself admitted. Then I used to go to the billing counter, pay the bills. Then I used to go to the ward, get myself admitted. And I would request the doctors to start my therapy. Everybody surrounding me were absolutely as, as, oh, surprised by my attitude. That's why I always say attitude matters. It matters. During this course of treatment, I was absolutely behaving like a normal human being. I was doing my job on my laptop. I was watching movies. I was watching songs. I was thinking about how to make my products better. I was designing. I was writing notes. Everything. I was doing like a normal person. <clears throat> then, after completing my chemotherapy, I went to ESA. And it was like a dream come true. Till today, medical equipments are imported from America to India. It was the first incidence that a medical equipment was exported from India to America. And I was overjoyed. We visited a lot of hospitals there in America and showed our innovation. For this innovation, we got a worldwide patent. See. The entire world was calling me. The entire world was a market for me because I had a world patent. But this unseen problem of cancer you know, you know, delayed the process. After America, I went to Sri Lanka for promotion of Kimi. And while I was in Sri Lanka, this murmur started of this COVID pandemic, uh, COVID-19 pandemic. When I returned back from Sri Lanka to India, in the month of March, after a few days, there was an entire nationwide lockdown. From a few days after that, I started receiving calls from various business houses and eminent government persons and eminent personalities to requesting me to manufacture the adult ventilators. But how did they come to know me? Come to know about me about and my ventilation knowledge? Simple. From since 2004, I was manufacturing the newborn baby care newborn ventilators and was and is pro, uh, providing it to all, all over India. People were knowing me that I have the knowledge of making ventilators and they believed that Suri can solve this problem because there was a dark need of ventilators and there was a ban on exports and people were dying due to lack of ventilators. So it was mandatory that somebody in India should come up and manufacture a ventilator. So they chose me to manufacture and yes, I grasped this opportunity with both hands and I started. Remember friends, I have a commerce background. I am a BCom MBA with no technical and no clinical knowledge. But my dream was to make a ventilator in India. So I started studying ventilators and ventilation and its nuances since 1999. So that study of ventilators and ventilation helped me in manufacturing a state of the art adult ventilator in this pandemic. And now we are happy to say that it's supplied all over India and is helping the doctors to save a lot of patients. 
I even wrote a book on high frequency oscillatory ventilator and it's been used and it has, it has been referred in lots of hospitals. For my knowledge and for my passion in ventilation, Department of Critical Care and Anesthesia of KM Hospital Pune honored me the doctorate of their faculty. I even got a doctorate from USA for my knowledge and for my work in ventilation. My work of ventilation gave me an award from Mariko Innovation Foundation. They had given a challenge to manufacture ventilators and it was an open challenge to all manufacturers all over the India and they chose my product, my ventilator as the best ventilator in the world. So my friends, I always say, if you have to be, you have to be a believer first, then only you become achiever. <laughs> There's nothing easy in life, my friends. It's all about hard work, toil, tears and perseverance. In 1999, when there was a strike in my company, I took that opportunity and started studying the ventilation, which eventually helped me in this pandemic. Same thing happened while developing Kimi. The person who was involved with me right from day one in development of Kimi left the project halfway and I had no other choice. So I took that opportunity and scrapped the entire project and started working from scratch. And I developed a new, entirely new product entirely new design of Kimi, which is not only successful all over the world, but even it has patent, worldwide patent. So friends, let me again tell you, there's nothing easy in life. There's an order of perspiration behind every successful person. You need a single point focus, determination, perseverance, and above all, honesty in every aspect of your life. If you have this, you will never be denied of success. Thank you very much for your patience listening. God bless. Stay safe. Thank you.